my name is Posh and welcome back to my channel. Y'all picked up the phone for your good sis. I know it's been a minute, but I'm here. I'm back, and I know I haven't completed Vlogmas. And who knew Vlogmas was such a hard task? Next year is going to be a lot different, and I'm not a next year type of girl, but next year is going to be a lot different. Um, I end up catching the flu, got sick, had to start healing myself. Literally, my whole family got sick after Thanksgiving. So, you know, I usually do an intro and do it all big, but your girl couldn't do that this year. So, I decided to make a post on Instagram and do like a real q a i really haven't ever really did a q a this is kind of like my official first q a so i wanted to do one with you guys before the new year start and so we could just you know get acquainted again catch up with your good sis i catch up with y'all see how y'all been doing but first of all y'all know i'm a southern bill so i want to say how are you how are you mentally how are you feeling let me know down in the comments how you doing because that's most important your brain is the most important muscle and tool on your body and i want to always check on it okay i want to always make sure you good all right so i asked some questions on instagram and let's get right into it so I did a poll. On Instagram. Alright, so let's get right into this video. So my camera's already freaking dying. So let's get into it. Let's not make this a long one. So the first question, y'all popping off real spicy. Y'all wanna know. Y'all wanna get in your girl business. And I'm gonna let you. Very much is. Very much is. Alright, so the first question is, did you get a sleeve surgery? So, girly, I'm going to be 100% honest with you. You have, y'all have been asking me this for over a year. I even had, like, surgery pages, popular surgery pages, assume, put information out there that I got a sleeve, you know, and made y'all think that I guess I'm a liar, and I've never been a liar. I've always been transparent with you guys. I've always let y'all know what kind of, so when I get surgery, I always take y'all on my journey. I let y'all know. Since I've been on YouTube, and before YouTube, I, I started from Instagram. I've always been very transparent. If anybody asks me, I always told the truth. I've never been ashamed of it, and I've always been a confident woman. So what type of enhancements or any type of surgeries has never been. I've never been a secret girl. You know, I don't, I'm a, I live a private life, but when it comes to, like, letting my girls know and putting y'all on or telling y'all what I'm doing, if you ask a question, I'm going to answer it. So, to answer your question, the answer is no, 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 no. And the reason I want to say that is because I'm not even big enough, y'all. I'm literally 4'11", and I have never weighed over 135 to 138. When I was very thick and big, I was t in my 20s, like my early 20s, 25. My mom had al already told me, like, when you turn 25, watch what you eat, watch what you do, because your metabolism slow down and things will start to stick. Well, when I gained weight, I didn't see it. Like, my family would say something. People around me were like, all right, P, you can kind of think, you know, watch your way. You know, people say little stuff, but I've always been a very confident woman. So a lot of stuff people say, I don't really listen to it. I take it in one ear and out the other. I don't really, because as long as I love who I am when I look in the mirror in the morning, that's the most important imperative thing to me. Other people's opinion never touch my skin. You know, it kind of roll off my back because all my life people have somehow had an opinion on my life. Um, so I always, since I was very, very young, was automatically trained by my father, excuse my French, to not give a fuck, to be honest. My, my father always, like, put me on a pedestal. He always spoke highly into me. He always just told me I'm a princess and to hold my head high, even when I want to hold it down to keep holding it high. So... You know, I honestly have some very confident parents, and they taught me how to be confident, and I hope to pass that on to my kids one day. But yes, to answer your question, the answer is no, 100% f 
false. I never got a sleeve. I learned about it when people kept assuming me that I had this surgery, but I'm not even big enough. My BMI, it was never like overweight. It's a lot of criteria that you have to fit in order to be able to get that surgery, and I've never been that big. Like I said, when I was thick and I had gained my 25-year-old weight, honey, that happy weight, that eating snacks and just eating bad, still having that same bad palate, you know, and appetite, eating kids' meals, eating Chick-fil-A every day, all of those things, I gained that weight. And I wasn't exercising, never been a gym girl, you know, so it stuck. I one day was looking at a vlog that I was editing when I was on my LA tour, my Girl Millionaire tour. If you haven't, be sure to be at one this summer because it's going down. It always do. Um, so yeah, I was on one of my Girl Millionaire's tours and I was editing a vlog. And when I was editing the vlog, I finally seen myself, I guess, from like a, a out of body experience. And I was like, who is that? That don't look like me. And the whole time I was thinking, like, my family had jokes. They would crack little jokes. Like, yeah, girl, you looking like one of my thick cousins. You know, you looking like da 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 But I was just like, oh, they hang. You know, they, they got to be hang. Because I, I don't see it. But I ended up seeing my weight gain. I seen, I was like, who is that? I think I asked my mom. I called my mom and asked my mom. And she was like, baby, that's you. <laughs> and I was like, wow. So, after I pretty much seen that, I kind of like did nothing really. Um, but I did start trying to work out. I started working out and then I started taking vitamins, supplements, um, as far as like detoxing a lot of the weight and waste that was just in my body. Most of us are full of shit, literally. Like a lot of people really are full of shit. But at that moment, I was. And I started detoxing. I started just taking my supplements. I really just changed my life around. But then I got sick. Um, COVID, and you know, when you get stuff like COVID and any type of sickness, you lose your appetite. So, for two weeks, I was sick and I didn't eat anything. So, I didn't absolutely couldn't hold down anything. So, that was when it really started drastically changing, and that's when I changed my whole palate and I changed my whole life. I eat different, I no longer eat kids' meals, I no longer have the taste for certain things. I'm very picky. I cook breakfast, lunch, and dinner at home. Um, I don't eat fast food. I haven't ate, eaten like, uh, I eat Chick-fil-A breakfast maybe two times, three times a year. I don't eat McDonald's. No fast food. You won't catch me in a fast food drive through period. And I have been like that for definitely a year plus. So that was a lot of change in my weight. And I started seeing what the oil from Chick-fil-A does to my body and it was giving me a fupa and I wasn't used to that. I've always been a very petite tiny girl. Um, of course y'all know I had butt enhancement so that made me thicker. Always been a chili to shape, really cute apple booty, like real cute little cherry butt booty. You know I always had a really cute hourglass but I got butt enhancements when I was 20 years old. So never ever 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 have I got a gastro sleeve. I learned about it during this experience of people assuming me that I had this, during the experience of surgery companies using my body as marketing promo and stuff like that. So I had to research it and learn about it. But to answer your question, girly, sis, no. And you know I don't do no lying. To tell a lie, you got to keep up with a lie. And to tell a lie, you got to be scared of somebody. So we already know. Mm -mm. But yes, to answer your question, no, I did not. I changed my lifestyle. I started working out. I got a trainer. Um, and I could put some of those clips in the video just during that time when I really was switching over. I was working with um, a trainer called Baku Prince, I think. Um, that's when I was learning how to box and all of that different stuff. So I'll insert that in the video just so y'all can understand the timeline. But I really switched my whole lifestyle around. I never used to eat salads. I eat salads now. Like, I eat veggies. I never used to eat this stuff. I've always been that kid to be like, I don't eat that. My mom knew I was hella picky. And people knew, like, you had to do a lot to, you know, get me to eat something that I just did not want to eat. I would smell food before I eat it. And if it didn't smell delightful, I would not eat it. I'm talking about real little girl palate. But, you know, it's a big posh now. It's, it's grown lady. I take vitamins every day. All of that. And I try to share that on my story. And I'm going to try to share my daily regimen more so y'all really can see, um, like, what supplements and stuff like that. But I take these um, vitamins that my herbalist made for me handmade them he put different ingredients in them and i'm thinking about actually maybe selling them 
or putting y'all on in some type of way where y'all can connect and get those same vitamins. Okay, girlies, I'm back. My camera freaking died. I'm like trying to make this video happen. All right, let's get right back into it. All right, so I answered that question. Next question, I screenshotted it. Question, when are you getting new inventory on the website? So we will be dropping new inventory on the 22nd of December. So we will be dropping new inventory on the 22nd of December. And when you purchase your new inventory, please know, please know this. We ship out the same day. We have a customer service number. We have a rep. They answer any questions. I swear to God, when we had our pie sales, before I shut the website down and everything was sold out, everything was going so rapidly, they were literally comparing the customer service to Amazon. And you girl, got to give herself a pat on the back because this entrepreneurship is hard, y'all. To keep it real with y'all, it's hard. And I've been doing this since I was a teenager and it's it's hard. I can honestly just be honest with y'all. It's not an easy task. It's a 24-8. You always have to, what you put in is what you get out. Um, and sometimes I do have to take a mental break because I never want to overwhelm myself and I'm at the point now where I'm ready to build my team and expand my team because I understand it takes a team it takes a village to get to the next level you can't do everything by yourself um and so yeah I'm super excited about hiring new people and I'm going to be vlogging that and taking y'all along with that along with me um with that I also opened up a inventory warehouse office and I've been decorating it so we're going to be doing a lot of my videos there I'm going to be there a lot packaging your orders and working and I'm going to be vlogging the experience I've been trying to get it decorated i don't know why i just want to show y'all everything finished but i let me know down in the comments if you want to see the process because i swear to god having a business can be stressful sometimes you want to quit some days you just want to say fuck everything but i love my business wholeheartedly this is all i know I, I'm, I adore my business and i will always pour into it and i will always plant the seed in it and watch it grow and I just love that I've been in the game this long I love to say I didn't have a blueprint I didn't have no one to watch or look at to learn what to do I literally all my life live my life on the internet on Instagram and I always been transparent and show my journey I've never been a bragger I don't post numbers I don't do none of that I stay humble and that's why I feel like God still got me in the race and I'm still going you know and I, and I always stayed at my own pace so yes new inventory is coming December 22nd be ready I also have a new perfume dropping if you didn't see the snippet I posted on Instagram be sure to follow my Instagram at I am posh official if y'all don't know this is my second Instagram y'all want a story time of how my best friend deleted my old best friend well she's still I forgave her she's still my friend my friend she deleted my Instagram so if y'all want that story time on how the original Miss Hollywood Posh Instagram got deleted I will sure tell you so if y'all want some story times and some topics put them down in the comments because yeah we're gonna get it real we're gonna get this channel popping we're gonna get to 100k don't even worry about it don't worry about it, sis. Don't worry about it, sis. Got you. All right, next question. Would you ever move out of Atlanta? So if you don't know, I'm born and raised in Atlanta. I'm a real Georgia peach, real Southern Belle, honey. Um, I love my city. Um, they used to call us city girls when we were young. Me and my homegirls, my homegirl, um, different girls I used to hang with or whatever. They used to call us city girls because we used to run around the city, baby. Run around the town, running the town at a very young age, doing way too much. So, yeah, I am from the city and I love my city, Atlanta. Is my heart of course y'all know I do a lot of business in LA it's like born and raised in Atlanta but get you know all right girls I have to switch from my camera to my phone because my camera died and it's taking forever to charge and I want to get this video out to you guys so the question was would I ever move from Atlanta my home I'm such a family oriented person that I don't really have the answer to that question but you know I am by coast so I'll be in LA a lot so LA would be a place that I would see myself living or residing in if anywhere um, but I will always have a home here in Atlanta because I'm such a family oriented person I always have to be very close to my family next question was what is your ideal self-care day my ideal self-care day is pretty much me getting my hair done me getting my lashes done, getting a mani, a pedi, 
maybe going to the spa and getting a little shopping in those are the things that i like to do to relax me and not always fashion shopping sometimes home decor is re really therapeutic i love z gallery i love home goods and at homes and all my little spots um so i love to go there and ball out um after i got my glam and everything done so truly not hair but definitely nails and lashes and my makeup i love just getting girly i'm such a girly girl at heart y'all Next question, I'm trying to speed through them. How do you put your outfits together? Where do you, What do you start with? So usually I plan my outfits 30 days ahead. Like I know what I'm wearing in January. I knew what I was wearing this December and November. So I'm always 30 days ahead with my looks. I know what wigs, what colors, what hairstyles, all of that stuff be pre-planned out. I'm not gonna say you got that type of time on your hands. I also do this for a living. So pre-planning and stuff like that for my brand and for my sponsors and different things, just my looks in general is very important to me to stay ahead is to be on time. But at least do it when you're out and you're in the mood to shop. Make sure you get pieces. Don't shop, you know, off a mannequin. Get pieces. When you're in the mood and you want to treat yourself, go in the store and find pieces. It don't have to be a complete outfit then go home and put stuff together that's the best way to get the best looks that you're actually going to like it's going to be different you're not going to be you're going to stand out your look is going to be different and you're not you're going to be one of a kind you're not going to be like everybody else if you notice if everybody's going left i'm most likely going right that's just my personality that's just how i am so i shop by the pieces when i'm in the mood to go shopping i'm looking for particular things i also like to switch my style up at least twice a year um i'll get some new pieces to fit my new style and i'll mix it with some of my old pieces that i love and i enjoy so definitely shop by the pieces not by the mannequin not by the looks or none of that and go off of your vibe i dress with my mood based on what mood i'm in so yeah i do it by the pieces and i put my looks together i let my looks marinate a little bit but i already pre-know what i'm wearing to the probably the next five looks for the month or whatever the rest of the month i know what i'm wearing already i knew last month and i know what i'm wearing in january so yeah i hope they answer your question girly all right so the next question girlies is are you still team range rover like the old vlogs that have you moved on so if you guys don't know i've had like five range rovers i bought my first range rover when i was 18 years old and that one i still have and now so yeah, I'm team Range Rover still. I definitely think I love Range Rover. I've been with them over 10 years. I have an amazing relationship with them. And I kind of have my way there. Um, but I love other vehicles. I really love cars in general. I love SUVs. I've had Panamera Porsches. I've had all kind of cars. Um, I've even had like Porsche and a Range Rover truck, a Cayenne and a Range Rover Sport at the same time. Um, so I've pretty much experienced with Porsche Range Rover. And that's it. <laughs> I've had two Porsches and like five Range Rovers, but I am still with them currently, just like the old vlogs. Um, always get the newest one. This one I've really been enjoying because it's super sporty. It's super fun. Um, it's like I call it the spaceship. So yes, girl, you girl know it. I'm still Team Range Rover. And yeah, I'm gonna let y'all know when I switch to another company finally because I talk so much junk, but somehow, some way, they keep getting your girl money. All right, so yeah, y'all know I love my Range Rover, I love my hydraulics, I love all my features. I'm an off road driving girl and I really live and love by them. But I definitely would like to tap into Mercedes Benz. I just gotta find the one that I like with them too. I gotta find a vehicle. Let me know down in the comments what is your favorite car brand um because i love cars y'all i um want to purchase me an old school um maybe next year so yeah i want to collect cars i love vehicles they so fun and i don't know i just like them next question when would you like to have a baby or are you still waiting so i don't know if we ever like got on to like this topic but i feel like we have I've never just wanted to be a young mother. That was never something that I wanted for myself. And my mom was a young mom and she always was adamant about no kids, no kids with me and my sister. So I think I took my mom saying no kids, no kids, maybe too far. 
because <laughs> now like she's definitely thirsty for a grand child from her daughters i believe um she hints it she talks about my son like he actually exists like it's a real thing y'all like we talk about him like he's really here he's like he's been talked about way before his existence so i definitely think she is finally ready for her baby girl to have a baby um but it, i never wanted to be a young mom i always feel like god was going to let me know in divine timing and i'm just big on it i feel like i have goals i have alignment and i'm big on just being aligned i take motherhood very serious because my parents were really good to me and i want to do a good job um i know there's not a perfect parent no perfect mom a perfect dad so to answer your question sis yes i do want kids yes i do want to be a mom um is definitely on my goal list and the time is approaching the time is definitely approaching um but yeah i already know i want a kid i already know who i want to have a kid by all that all that just just stay tuned y'all wait y'all clocking you wouldn't be my sister if you weren't clocking um the next question is what made you stop doing girl talk? So it's so funny that y'all asked me about girl talk. I seen it was a topic on who started it and all of that. Um, but I started doing girl talk years, years, years ago, over four or five years ago when I started YouTube. And it was pretty much sitting down with different entrepreneurs or ex-friends and just having a conversation as women. I feel like conversation is good for human nature we need to converse we need to talk it out and figure it out and to always check each other mental um so i'm just big on just girl talking conversation and exploring the mind and different topics I, I love stuff like that so the reason i stopped doing girl talk is because i kind of lost my motivation um i was on my third or fourth episode and i have been friends with like a rap this female rapper and I wanted to interview her I had you know do what friends do being a friend you know helping her connecting her to my resources connecting her to glam in my city getting her well acquainted with the right people she started getting her glam top notch just doing what friends do and when I needed a favor from this person she didn't come through and she told me no so I think me never hearing no and hearing from a person that I was there for. So what I was saying was, I just got dismotivated when I heard the no and I always pour into my friendships. I always like overexert myself and just be a helping hand where I can help a person at. And then when I need them, I feel like I expect people to give me that same type of energy and that same type of, you know, fucking with or love. And when that person, like I felt like used me, to get my resources to whatever to just use me in whatever ways that they had to benefit them and then they didn't come through for me i think it did kind of hurt my spirit a little bit to the point where it was like another stab in the back as far as me always helping build someone up and then when i need them it's like oh no i got what i needed from you so that was the pure reason why i started girl i mean stop girl talk because i just really lost that motivation to keep going and i want y'all to know no matter if you ever hear a no there's always a yes and i've always been a person to never accept no like i've always been big on that it's nothing that i ever wanted that i didn't go out there and get and work hard for it so i will always tell you whatever you want to start start it whatever you want to do do it um and always watch people watch people character watch people you know i'm good on rapport i'm good on pulling your rap sheet i'm good on that but sometimes i'll open friendships i'll open doors business relationships head first and heart first and i don't think and i just do and i do everything from my heart so that's why i think i take things so personal is because i do it from my heart it's never an ill intent it's never for clout it's never for whatever the reasons people do things for in this day and time i'm just not built like that i'm cut from a different cloth i'm an old soul i've always been that way and i've always been super mature for my age and i've always carried myself a certain type of way so there's not people who can say oh this person p used me or you know if we sat at a table we didn't both benefit and bring the chair the table the legs the nails together um so i think that kind of pretty much hurted my spirit with girl talk but that's another story time for another day honey another story time for another day 
the more of it is to watch people's character and when it's business handle it like business and when it's friendship handle it like friendship but definitely put a thick line in between the two um i lost my momentum i lost my motivation for it and i kind of let it do its thing i am definitely starting it back up and i have a lot of surprises for my my actual fourth episode, the episode that I stopped at and I just got unmotivated at, that one is finally coming up. I'm back with the girl talk. I'm back with everything that I need to be back with for my YouTube. I definitely have a great audience and I appreciate you guys for even staying this long as you've stayed and just being loyal and committed to me and just waiting for me to get it together. But it's together now. Like it's it's in order. It's in line. So I'm super excited for y'all to see who my next guest is going to be to see what the topics is going to be. Also drop some comments and some topics down below. Maybe even people you want me to interview on Girl Talk. Um, I got everything re-renovated, redone. Um, my one of my brand managers that worked for me, she redid everything. So we got new logos, new cue cards. It's the whole nine. We're coming official. I even tried to order some podcast mics, but I had to send them back because I didn't like them. But yes, we're getting started. We got so many things to talk about, so much to catch up on. And my next Q&A, make sure y'all follow my Instagram so y'all can answer, ask me a question that y'all always wanted to know from me. And I can give you my 100% blunt honest um answer i love doing this this was so fun and i hope we can do it again i love you guys and just get ready for all the stuff i got coming i know vlogmas poshmas is starting off late but i did have the flu and i had a lot of stuff going on but i'm back on track so get ready do not forget to like comment and subscribe to this video um if you want more videos make sure you pick up that phone your girl gonna call you and i'll see y'all in the next video bye